All right, and we're back. This is the Pablo Cunha story, FM 2024. Um, and we are in 11th place, and we are looking at relegation at the moment. Uh, it's been a weird week. It's been a pretty wild week. Uh, you got the U.S. elections. My Wolves won. Messi got knocked out of the MLS playoffs. It, we are in another dimension now. <laughs> what is happening in the world? So... Um, yeah, let's look at, okay, so the schedule. Um, well, I left you off here with Uruguay Montevideo, and then I played a boring game. We got slapped around. We should not have lost that game. That, we should have won that game, but Rompla Juniors are that team and uh, pulled off an 86th minute draw. Uh, we got slapped around. We got we had a man sent off and then we had no chance. Uh, then we, oh, it was a bad, like a, just a boring game, a, te- a game where we should have won by four. Like it should have been like four, nothing, but sure enough, they score one goal at the end with the one shot they had for the whole ge- the rest of the game. Oriental de la Paz was the statement win that I wanted. And we finally got that. Everything went our way. Tukua and Rembo uh, beat the crap out of us. And Cerrito, we did not deserve a draw, but we got one. Sudamerica, we got crushed. Rentistas, that scoreline is way worse than how the game was. Uh, it sh- we should have lost like 2-1, to one, really. Uh, and then we beat a Tennis de San Carlos, which was a really good win. So I did a couple tactical tweaks, and it went our way. Now, going to the squad. Johnny De Silva is injured, which stinks. Uh, so our starting uh, goalkeepers out, but uh, so Lucas Gomez that happened last game against a tennis. But uh, basically, I've just had a cycle of one or two injuries all the time, and there's like always players coming back to fit, like coming back into fitness. It's just been a drag. It's really been so difficult. Um, so I've never really been able to get like players to gel together i'm always chopping and changing players in and out facundo vega for a good as a good example he's just coming back from injury um yeah i mean this the keeper uh, i had mauro kachi out correa was out for a little bit uh, sosa played terribly and then i had to play miller who then played well so now i'm just playing him now uh Francisco Obanias had a couple bad games, so I had to take him out. And then, you know, I had to put in uh, Santiago Capi. Uh, Jim Varela got injured for a little bit. Gaston Paiva got injured for like for quite a while. And then Martin Gonzalez also. So it's like, it's been constant. And then also the wingers that I don't really even use, like Jairo Vilpando um, and Juan Muguerza, like he's just coming back. Like it's just been like this constant, like, you know, he's out for two, three weeks, out for four or five weeks, out to six weeks. Uh, constant chop and change of e- of either the people on the sub bench or starting lineups. So it's been really, really difficult so far. But that being said, let's jump into uh progresso it's an away game uh and i have a feeling that we're going to be able to get a back-to-back win that is i'm willing this into existence here i we need it so badly so let's just jump in this and here is your starting lineup so lucas gonzalez is going to be uh your keeper here and then it's going to be uh in the back line here federico platero alexis piegas and then santiago copy uh on the right side you got facundo vega left side axel muller and then agustin pons and gaston sanchez is going to be in the midfield you got uh mauro cacci martin correa on the right and then christian franco up top uh on the uh the bench here goalkeeper third choice goalkeeper how martin iglesias who's had way too much time as a starter he's been totally blood bled in um and it's hurt us uh, francisco ibanez martin gonzalez uh veteran you know my team captain he's been out injured like <laughs> and he's played like garbage sometimes so like oh anthony anthony silva's lost his starting spot jim varela is on the bench gaston paiva he was a starter until he got injured for a while uh jairo Pondo, alan bonance and maximiliano Cayorta. um yeah it has been a wild wild time so uh just cut the, the couple tweaks so far by the way uh so obviously uh the Vol- segundo volante um i want him to drift in right 
help out the attack, support, drift in these roles right here. Also, I decided that uh, Franco, he needs to be a deep line because sometimes he needs to drop in to this spot to help link up play for everybody. So um, at times, there's just too big of a gap here, so everybody becomes isolated. Uh, if, the, if Pons or Sanchez decides to go forward, they are left completely dry up front uh, with nobody because Franco's playing that, that back line. There might be a defensive midfielder in between them. Um, and the other side too is that like the wingers are often like isolated themselves uh, and their only their only option is going to be playing back. So it, it never becomes a really an attacking play. So um, yeah, that was uh, the big tactical revelation, if you will, from when I was playing Dennis last time. Also, I'm playing a little bit more of a Daniel Analyst here because I'm really trying to hone in on this. This has been a really, really hard campaign to be to go to uh, to be a part of. So, um, not gonna be doing that 2D classic for you guys. That's crazy. Copy. What are you doing? All right, we got a free kick here. Good save. Good save. I'll elect for the sideline here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just making sure I, I sometimes I tinker with those throughout the game, so just want to make sure they're on the right, the right settings, you know. Playing the same lineup we are. Kutch tries to dink it in for Correa, but it doesn't work. Correa is really fast too. I just like I don't see it. Nice. Come on, catchy. There we go, Muller to Sanchez to Franco. Come on, Franco. Yes, yes. Oh, I, I, we don't score often. We are, we are by far the worst offense in the league. So this is great. This is fantastic. Incredible. Christian Franco. That is exactly what I'm looking for, man. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Just got a little bit of uh, fitness here. Might be an issue. All right, so I am a little concerned. Uh, just about this. Yeah, there it is. That that, that triangle, Damo. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, just try to encourage the team here because I've had some uh, really, really terrible body language. Pretty consistent complacency throughout the entire year so far, and I blame that on the fact that I can't, you know, I don't have good motivators in the team, uh, for coaches that is. So trying to trying to keep this, these guys motivated, trying to keep them interested in the game, uh, constant body language fight here, you know. So this is uh, you know, an aspect of the challenge. It's gonna be very difficult. The training's been decent. Uh, the, the players of whom are bad trainers are bad trainers or they're typically over the, over the age, like mid-30s, you know. William Klingender just is consistently a bad trainer, so it's because he's 34, he doesn't run anymore. Oh, Adamo. Alright, good poke, but 
still a problem. This should not be happening. Uh, I'm just going to have just closing down and tight marking on him because we should not be having that. Franco's having a fitness issue here. Beyond the one strike, I mean, we're we're not doing good. We are not doing well. Thank you, Lucas Gonzalez. Oh, and he just clears it away right to Maldonado and gives the ball away. Okay. Lopez, good tackle, but it's going nowhere. We still got two runners in the box. Adamo's there. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Let's focus the play down the right and left here. Um, we can cinch it in a little bit. It's already like a really wide tactic, so uh, we can make that happen. I just keep the run of defense. We got fast wingers, so I, I'm hoping that we could just keep that press going. Pons, what are you doing, man? Like, when I have play short, like, I want you to bring the ball down and pass it. Garcia, LaBraga. Yeah, the, you can take a shot from there. You can do it all day. Yep, they're doubling up on that on the wings here. We have, like, no threats. Dude, who is this? Cappy? Terrible. You know what? I am going to... <sighs> no way. <sighs> oh, my God. Uh, let's keep it a positive and let's hmm. I'm gonna take off run at defense. Should I tell him to roll it out? Take short kicks. Because he can't be distributed to the flanks. I don't have anybody who's like that. Distribute to fullbacks, maybe. You know what? I think that's where we're going to go with this. Because the fact is, like, if if I'm... Yes. If, if I keep punting it forward, I don't really have anybody who's like a target forward who's going to be able to win that header and, and hit it down or chest it down, to control it to anybody else. So... It's, you know, it's basically me giving the ball back to him and it's going to come back to my throat. So, um, yeah, we got to make the, we got to make that adjustment there. And Vera and Lopez keep doubling up on, on this side here, which becomes a problem. But I want, but what I'd like to do is be able to just turn this into an offensive, uh, offensive game. 
we've had a really bad first half, but it took, I mean, it took me a while to figure it out what's going on. So let's see. Because we just don't have anybody who's that, that big on the field, that is. We got a couple big guys. We got a couple big guys on the striker side, but, um, if they're not on the field, that means nothing. Pachi, get there. I do have that other tactic too, which I might switch to and in, in like at 60. If they score, I'm going to definitely switch it. Oh man, they got early pressure on us too. I might change it 55, honestly. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Okay. This is going to... This is the changing of the tactic here. So, um, we're going to keep that going. Yep. Pegas is having a tough time. I'm going to play a Banez. Vega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep him as a miss. Correa. Catchy. Franco. Get back up top. <clears throat> oh, and then uh, Kyorda or Bonansea? I'm going to put Kyorda on, even though he's not match fit right now. I think he's just going to be a little bit, seems to be unaffected by, by a slight injury. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the the play here. Uh, not higher tempo, but let's do, ta yeah, play a little bit more narrow. Trap inside for sure. I think that's it. Oh, uh, distribute to target forward. I think this is the, like, this is our shift here. Let's go attacking. Let's go after. Let's get after him. Should we just like play it down the middle? We need something out of this. Here's Vega. Hitting it back to Sanchez. Coyota. Oh, okay. Hitting it back in. Oh, it's Takachi. Oh. Mauro Kachi. That was a huge chance. Let's uh, change it up here. In possession, hit early, play for set pieces. Let's be more expressive too. I hate it when it's like up there. Okay, let's let's make another sub here. Christian Franco is hampered by an injury. Great, great, great. Gaston Paiva. He, I mean, honestly, I might, like, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about putting him on. Maybe I will. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, let's, hold on. I'm going to see Pons take him off for Paiva. He's better... Paiva's better as a Segunda Volante. He likes to go forward, so 
that to me feels like a solid move. Linda Vega is really struggling out there. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm not going to do it just yet. Come on. Get in the way. Block it. Defend it. Man, we are playing like garbage, dude. I just want to like I just want to yell at him so bad. Okay. Uh tackle hard. Oop. Tackle hard, tackle hard, tackle hard. I think we should just move up for like move forward, trigger the press, step up on it, and um, oh, get rid of the distribute forward. Dude, do not loot. Are you okay? Oh my god, you guys are seeing this. <laughs> what? What do I have to tell them to not throw it to the opposite team in our own half? Like, is there a tactic like, don't do that? <laughs> oh my god. Vega, like, what was that? Actually, you know what? I am taking Vega off because that's he just did that. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. What kind of maniac does that? Piva puts it in. Miller hits it. Nope. Piva lays it off. Iglesias. Oh, good hit by Iglesias. Honestly, I mean, he's 18 years old. If he scored that... Oh, my God. If he, if that 18 year old scored, I, I'm telling you, his his stats would have jumped like two stars. Kachi puts it through. Franco getting driven out to the corners here. We're feeling a little bit more dangerous here. Ibanez, Paiva. Ooh! It, I, that was probably deflected, and then uh, Keeper was able to parry it away. No. 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 I'm telling them no. Don't do this to me. Sanchez, get there. Couldn't. Could flick away. Oh my god. Yeah, no more subs either. All right, higher tempo. <clears throat> Whipped crosses. Counter, counter. Highest level of press possible, please. Yeah, that was so rough. 
This is... Yeah, I mean, look, we played horribly. <laughs> uh, but we've had, like, two good chances to score. One of them we scored in the fifth minute. Oh, my God. Wow. Man, this... That was so rough. You caught it on camera. Yeah, that... Man. I was honestly... If we... If we... Yeah, if we pulled off a draw and we, like, got battered like that, I would have been okay with it, but... Man. Man. We... Stunk. That stinks. So, uh... Yeah, we, we really need that. To, like, if we we're going to say we're at least mid-table, but... You know, that is what it is. Uh, Alright, so, uh... Yeah devastating loss right there but what are you gonna do so we're still sitting in 11th um yeah nothing's really changed there but uh what i think i'll do for the next episode is i'm gonna play through the rest of august even though miramar Misiones is a uh, relegation fixture for us and uh the uruguayan third cup round look they don't really care about it so neither do i i think the the thing is that the um the the league is so important right now and we are definitely in a relegation fight so that being said i think the game i mean bella vista and oriental de la paz are the two games that i am the most focused on so i think that's what we're going to come back to we're going to come back to these games here so i think the next couple of uh, like either i think i'll just make a double up double header for the next episode that is what you can look forward to double header it's gonna be bella vista and oriental de la paz because those two games are key wins for our rele like our relegation survival here and um you can see what is happening so uh wrapping this up i'm jack this is the jack city uh gaming channel and this is the Pablo Cunha FM 24 story. Please let me know if you have any suggestions, tactical shifts, you know, anything like that, with at least as long as it's within the parameters of the uh, the challenge. And also, uh, yeah, let me know if you like what's going on. Please like, subscribe. I Through my frustration of like this year, I'm honestly really enjoying this. So um, it's definitely a challenge. And uh, I'm just showing you my emotions of you know, what is happening around me. <laughs> so it is what it is, but, uh, yeah.